All right, ladies and gentlemen, the mixtape show pregame going on right now, man. We got a dope show tonight. We got Sugar T from the the, the almighty Sick With It Records is going to be tonight's Applied Knowledge Artist of the Week interview. She definitely is a dope artist, independent. Um, kind of put the blueprint together at the, in the in the nineties, man. She showed us the way along with her brother E Forty, Shock G, and all of them out there in the click. Uh, did they thing out there, man? And um, speaking of independent artists, man, I got calling them my brother on the other line, man. Jay Waiters, Triple D R and B boss in the building, man. What's good, man? How you? What's good? What's good, DJ Kawhi? What's good? Chilling, brother. Always a pleasure to talk with you, my man. Same here, same here. So, yeah, man, we're going to be premiering your joint tonight with John Jiggs that you guys did, man, the Walk a Mile joint, man. And um, and uh, that joint is high, bro. That joint is high. Man, appreciate it. Much respect, man. You know, with everything going on, I had to do something for everyone at this time. You know, um, everyone's going through something, and right now it's more relevant than ever. For real, man, yeah. And, and I think, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, because you've been, you've been back and forth in Atlanta, man, doing your thing. Uh, putting together this project that we're gonna talk about here in just a second. Um, didn't the, didn't this kind of when you shot parts of this video is kind of when it popped off in that uh that parking lot right with the police and the police uh, killing that brother out there? Yeah, actually, yeah. Um, the, uh, I was in Atlanta. Actually, I've been in Atlanta like with the last four months back and forth. Um, <laughs> yeah, seven, eight, nine times. times yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man, you know, I'm, I'm I'm almost like fam down there now, but, <laughs> like, um, a couple of times when I was down there, actually, um, the shooting at the Wendy's, mm-hmm. um, I was actually down there, um, with, uh, T-Rex, mm-hmm. and, um, that happened then, and, you know, I was already kind of working on something that I wanted to do mm-hmm. for the people, you know, as far as equality and the police brutality that, that's been going on here in America, mm-hmm. and, um, it happened, and you know, it, it it just happened, you know. And I wanted to shoot a video then, but I had my right hand man with me, uh, Damo, footprint mm-hmm. the movement, you know. Mm-hmm. So I, you know, I called him. I was like, "Hey, man, this happened down here," and he was like, "Oh, what?" And then, you know, the next day it was everywhere on the news. So, yeah, yeah. You know, it just it all kind of fell in place, and you know, just seeing everything, you know, it it, it kind of hits home mm-hmm. every day. Definitely, definitely, so. definitely, man. And you, and it's this walk a mile joint, man. How did, how did, how did this come about? As far as you getting with Jigs, and then, um, you know, so talk about the 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 kind of the theme of the track. Well, uh, with Jigs, you know, um, I you know I listened to his flow and some of his some of his songs, and um, I got to listen to a couple of his interviews. So I know where he kind of come from or whatever, and um, I just hollered at him, and you know, I, I served in the military. Um, I, I live in Chicago, I live in Dallas, I live in Virginia, I live in Carolina. Mm-hmm. I live a few places and I kind of see the ups and downs. And um, at the end of the day, being black, you know, it, it takes a lot to walk in any anyone's shoes. Mm-hmm. And, and I'm, I'm not saying any other race doesn't go through these things, but me being a black man, I know. Yeah, you can only speak on you know? what you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm just speaking on what I know. Um, me being in the suburbs, I can drive in the suburbs, and a police will pull me over for no reason, and he'll ask me what I'm doing over here, and, you know, yeah. I know you're probably you know, just yeah. doing your job, but then when you tell me, hey, uh, get back on your side of town, it's like, really? You yeah. know, so. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, and then and, and the single kind of kind of, kind of addresses that and kind of voices that opinion, right? Yeah, most definitely. And you, you guys walk them out in my shoes, you know, you and, and tell video, me what you see. And the video, you know? video was shot out in ATL, too, huh? Yeah, the video was shot out in ATL um, off um, Edgewood. You know, um, I'm getting real familiar with the areas and everything, <laughs> but, you know, uh, that's where our people are at, you know, and, you know, it, it, it's love. The community is there. They're, they're looking. Um, they're, they're just trying to make sure their community is safe at the end of the day. So, you know, I, I love it, you know. Uh, yeah. hope, hopefully it touch, touches the people like I, I want it to touch Dope, you know, dope, man. So. Well, I'm you know the mixtape show's coming down to the ATL, bro, and I know you're gonna be there to, you know that first weekend in October. So you know we're gonna actually sit down and chop it up some more formally. But uh, I definitely wanted to hit you up, you know, let you know we're gonna be premiering that joint tonight on the show, and um, it's gonna be all love when we premiere that joint. But uh, Jay Waiters, the the artist, man, you got this EP on the way titled Jay Waiters. Um, I seen you got a little, you got you've been getting a lot of media press. You know what I'm saying? Got a got a cover you know what I'm saying magazine cover here recently and uh um, yeah, the, the the jay waiter's name is, is is ringing bells out there right now brother so congratulations on that man man thank you man thank you i appreciate everything that y'all do for me because you know y'all are home first and wherever i go 
y'all go. And I just want everybody to know in the world to know, you know. So at the end of the day, as I grow, we grow. As you grow, I'm going to help and I'm going to grow with you. So and that's yeah. what it's all about at the end of the day. And yeah. I just thank everyone, man. And I'm going to keep pushing. I'm not going to stop. So. Yeah, man. And for the, for the listeners out there and the viewers out there, man, me, Jay, myself, and Rex, man, we've been – probably for a good year now man we've been kind of you know politicking behind the scenes and and just kind of been um you know working on some things and um you know uh jay jay jay's jay's a good dude you know what I'm saying for those people out there who who don't know the artist who know the artist but don't know him personally he's he's a good dude man and he 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 definitely has great energy and that's that's what i like to vibe with people with great energy man and it's it's infectious and i just love seeing your movement man and every time i see you you know get get the little the pub here and the shine there and you know every time you make a move that's in the positive direction bro i just i just get more and more proud of what you're doing man because you're really out here doing it you're staying away from the bullshit you're staying above the bullshit man and just keep 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 pushing that man most definitely i appreciate it going you, you know i'm gonna do it man and i'm just trying to you know do the right path and show everyone it could be done yeah you know so it can be yeah, man. Man, i'm gonna stick in there there we go i'm man. gonna walk a mile you know <laughs> <laughs> i hear you man i tell you man this brother's got his his, his brand on 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 25,000 right now man doing this thing moving independently man and and like I said brother we we definitely got your back here man and um before we go man just you know just like I said this past year that's that's the barometer I've been going through just cuz I I don't I don't know what you've been through prior to me meeting you but I just been seeing what you've been going through while we've been moving together as a crew and everything and just doing our own thing man what's what's some of the um What's some of the changes that you made over the past year? Because with growth comes changes, and you know sometimes you got to put yourself in an uncomfortable space to um, to grow. So have have you had those uncomfortable moments here within the past year or so? To me, in my personal opinion, I haven't had any uh, like major uncomfortable moments. Um, I learned I had to drop a lot of dead weight. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of times, as independent artists, as we're trying to grow, we're trying to get each and everyone that we know personally or knew in the past mm-hmm. and you know a lot of artists think um those people are are are, are supposed to support us mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. and it doesn't work like that and a lot of times you have to show people that you're here to stay and your product is what you're tr- what you told them or what you're trying to tell them mm-hmm. and i had mm-hmm. to learn that so yeah, yeah. a lot yeah. of times i got, you know a lot of things i just dropped i dropped a lot of dead weight and yeah. i focused more and i took the necessary steps to get to the next level yeah that's yeah. pretty much what i did here in the last year yeah. especially uh, meeting you and rex and other people along the way a lot of things opened up and you know it, it was a new vision the yeah. clarity everything just was clear to me you know what mm-hmm. i mean so yeah definitely definitely man we got we got a we got a release date for that that new ep yet or are we still working on that um you know me i i'm, I'm a perfectionist a little <laughs> bit but I'm, I'm shooting for october okay so all right. um all right <laughs> if if not October, definitely it's gonna. I'm I'm gonna definitely drop before Thanksgiving in in, in November. So yeah, yeah, I would. I, 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 I promise the people that I do have a lot of songs done. It's just I'm picky. Yeah, and I have like six sessions coming up. So I got some in Atlanta, and then I got some here in the, in DFW as well. So yeah, and uh, then that that'll be the final. Yeah, I, I would definitely, I would definitely recommend to drop that joint before the holidays because you wouldn't want you to get lost in the sauce, man, with the with the, with the holidays and all that, man. So, all right, Jay Wade, but like I said, bro, we gonna definitely be um keep catch up in the, in the ATL. You know what I'm saying? You know how I do. We family on and off air, so they don't need to know this is this ain't this ain't this ain't new. Um, just want to reach out to you, let you you know, just talk to you about the single that we're gonna premiere here in the show tonight. So and you guys definitely it. tune into the mixtape show tonight. We got my man Jay Wade and John Jigs track. Walk a Mile, going to be world premiere in the show. Uh, we got Sugar T, going to be the Applied Knowledge Artist of the Week. A uh, bunch of Bye. new joints. I got Nam Nitty on the show tonight, music on the show. We got some Monopoly Family joints. We got uh, a bunch of bunch of joints, man. So, j man, I appreciate you, brother, and we'll, we'll talk again real soon, all right? No problem. No problem. Be safe. All right, man. We'll be right back. <laughs>